Thanks for watching another edition of Timmy Talks. In today's episode, I'm going to be reviewing my favorite places to eat and drink in Goa, India. Come along! Topping my list, number one is Harmony Bistro in Candlem. Oh my goodness, this place is amazing. Now, they have a really nice selection of drinks if you drink alcohol. They have a pretty full bar with even fancy fufu drinks like uh, pina colada and um, reasonably priced for alcohol. Of course, alcohol in Goa is generally at a good price. And they do have specials of the day, and I love this, that they have lobster and red snapper. If appetizers are your thing, they have a lot of small finger foods um, and even soups and salads. If you are craving a salad, which I was often, um, they have some really nice chicken dishes and they do serve some steaks. They do have a separate kitchen for steaks. So in case you're concerned about mixing food, they have a separate kitchen for that. They do offer really good pizza. I had it once and they offer great pasta and lasagna and they do have a wide variety of fish and they have a lot of specials of the house, including chicken tikka. They do offer vegetarian choices, non-roti rice, momos, potatoes, a lot of hot drinks and teas and they offer fresh juice. And they do have milkshakes and lassies and smoothies, which I availed myself of several times. And they do have iced tea and cold drinks as well. Oh my goodness. Wow, wow, wow. Look <laughs> at that. Thank you so much. Wow. wow. And on this particular night, the kitchen was backed up craziness. And they brought us some little appetizer for free to hold us over until our meal came. How specials was this chicken tikka kebab and there were chunks of chicken marinated so nicely with a baked potato filled with butter and then these steamed vegetables that were soft and juicy oh my goodness that was fantastic All right thank you and on this particular night i ordered the lasagna and the lasagna came with a nice little side salad and the lasagna was really good you know it's funny i was craving pasta and wanting you know some tomato sauce and lo and behold this restaurant had it on the menu and the woman next to me actually was eating this and i had asked her how was it and she said oh my gosh it's divine you have to get it it's really good it's one of her favorite things and so yes the lasagna is very good if you come here you can't go wrong with either the tikka kebab or the lasagna just fantastic You know, I had to just show the ambiance of this place. It is really nice. It has all these beautiful lights and the mood is just very nice in there and soft music is playing. It's just really, really nice to have a nice evening out. Over the course of several nights, I of course had to come back here. I had to have that chicken tikka kebab myself. Here's the one that I ordered. And, um, you know, it's just amazing. One of the things I had noticed on the appetizers was this Momo's. And I thought this would be an appetizer for me, but it actually ended up being my entire meal. So fulfilling and so good. Topping number two on my list is Coastal Crave in Candlem. Now, I actually passed this place on my scooter many times and had tried to stop one evening, but the driveway is kind of really tricky to get into and it's like there's too many cars and I couldn't make a turn. So this night I said, okay, I'm going to try it because it looks really nice. The ambiance is just fantastic. And there was hardly anyone in here because it was a little bit early in the evening and I thought, what a perfect place time to go and try out a brand new restaurant. 
Now this restaurant too has a wide variety of options. They have a lot of veg starters and a lot of Chinese food and soups and salads as well. And if you have problem reading type, they even have a menu with enlarged type that people can use to do their ordering. So, but they have really good um, Oriental Asian, even steaks here. I did ask about the kitchen. They do have a separate kitchen for that as well. They have a lot of continental foods, just things that people around the world are used to eating. And they do have a lot of Indian dishes and especially they have Goan dishes, which is really what I wanted to come here and try out. So I think one of my tasks this trip is to really try every chicken chikuti I can get my hands on. And this one did not disappoint at all. Oh my goodness. The texture of this chikuti with this um, naan was so amazing. Oh my goodness. That green sauce on it was so so good and not like overly spicy not overly hot was just amazing it was perfect i really recommend getting the chicken chikuti if you come here okay i've been hearing a lot about the german bakery you gotta go to the german bakery so there's two of them one in Bagator, and then here one in candlelight so we've gone to the one in candlelight because we want to go to the beach so let's check it out I have really come to love this place. It's small, it's like quaint and family owned. And you know, you just pick a table. <clears throat> you may actually have to end up sitting with somebody because they don't have a lot of seating, but you know, it's like family style. And they have a lot of cakes and pies and everything that you would expect from a bakery, but they also have amazing breakfast and really, really good types of coffee. So I came here so many times, I can't even tell you, they knew what I wanted before I even sat down. So it's an amazing place. In India, I am always looking for a really good breakfast place. And to me, this is just the ultimate. The prices are reasonable and a huge selection of food. Everything that you would think of at a bakery, um, lassies and cold drinks and cakes and pies and salads, but they, they actually have a lot more that they offer. Omelets and full breakfast. Okay, German chocolate cake with ice cream and a soy latte with apple pie. Check it out. This is my first soy drink. Here. You had any Bangalore Yeah, Bangalore Starbucks I had soy. That's the first one in Goa. Let's check out apple pie. It's chock full of apples, oh my goodness. Wow. Mmm. Not too sweet. Mmm. A lot of cinnamon, mm, that's good, and gooey, and... That's really good. That crust is like pie crust. The good part of the crust all the way through the top. Wow, that's excellent. Okay, let's try the chocolate. Wow. It's like different layers of soft and hard chocolate, chocolate crust. It's really good. And of course with ice cream, you can make a float out of it. Look at that. Mm. Mm. Yum. That vanilla ice cream is like whipped with a lot of air. It tastes good. Mm. I think this was becoming my second home. I just was coming here every day for breakfast before I would head to the beach and just an amazing place. Like I said, it's not big 
And you may actually have to sit with other people that you don't know, uh, just because there's not a lot of space. But if you come early in the morning, you can get your own table and you don't have to worry about that. But it is often quite busy and you get to make some new friends. And I actually made a couple of them and I'm looking forward to seeing them again. So the German bakery in Candlem is fan freaking tastic. That apple pie or that chocolate cake was very good. That's what Germans are known for. So if you are in the area, you've got to make a stop and you've got to come to the German bakery. So boy, I would really like to take some of that home, at least, you know, to, to the hotel. So I may do that. <laughs> One side note, if you go there, Try the muesli. It is, the fruit is different all the time. It's got oats, it's sweet, it's got yogurt. It's so good. I'm missing it desperately. All right, welcome to Country Inn and Sweets by Radisson. Number four on my list is the Radisson Hotel in Goa. And you actually might not think that this is a really good place to eat, but I will tell you, it was fantastic. Now the ambiance here in the main part of the hotel is very Portuguese with these beautiful like Portuguese tiles and the way that they have all of their furniture and the square architecture and the heavy furniture. It was really, really pretty and a nice sight to see. And here's Vasco da Gama welcoming us as we enter into the lobby. Originally, we had thought that we would get the buffet, but we checked out the buffet and I thought the food was sitting there for quite a while. There weren't a lot of people inside here and we almost gave it up. But then I saw that the outside has a poolside barbecue grill and island bar. And that is what I wanted to try. The ambiance out here is gorgeous. The lighting is so super nice. And it just sets a nice environment for having dinner. Look at how nice. Beautiful at night, my goodness. So many times in India when you go to a restaurant, I would say, most of the time now, since COVID especially, you can scan this uh, uh, barcode, or I don't know what you call it, but scan this code, QR code, on your phone via your photo, uh, you know, like you're taking a, a picture, photo app. And it opens up the menu, and the menu is like touchless, so you don't have to touch old menus or anything like that. So we are ready to go order. Okay, so we ordered a chicken vindaloo, which is a really known Goan dish. It's pretty spicy. And then a Goan chicken and a chicken casserole. So we were chicken chicken tonight, and I think we got some naan or roti or something on the side, but let's check it out. Okay, so chicken vindaloo came. With chicken casserole. Chicken casserole. And chicken pulao. Uh, chicken. Bonus chicken pulao. With coconut. With coconut. Yeah. All right. Very good. Yeah. I know Americans are not used to seeing this, but most of the time when you go to a restaurant, the food servers will actually serve the food onto your plate. And they go to school to learn how to do this, and they do it very well. But, you know, they have arranged the food for you, and they present it to you in such a nice professional manner. And it's something that I had to get used to as a foreigner because generally in the US when you get your dinner, they just put the food on the table and it's up to you to you know eat it. But here in India, they serve you and it's just really, really nice. That is my favorite, most favorite dish in Goa. Okay. I do love chicken vindaloo so much that even I purchased a huge bottle of vindaloo spice so I could make it at home. I really do love vindaloo. And the chicken casserole is another going specialty that is so savory and so good as well. Okay, the Palau has chicken and vegetables and going spices. I don't know, it's like, to me, like maybe 
a little tomato, onion. Yeah. And we got a little salad. This one is going salad. Going salad. All right. That's good. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Let's try this. There's little chicken, chicken sausages. It actually tastes like a, like a gumbo, almost. A little spicy in its own right, but it's good. And the chicken casserole, which I think is um, maybe spinach or, uh, let's try it. It's sweet. I mean, I really think it's like cilantro or coriander and spinach. It's really good. <laughs> and the chicken vindaloo, of course, is my favorite. And with this color comes a lot of heat. <laughs> so you have to expect it. It's hot and spicy, but man, is it good. Mm-hmm. Wow. Tangy. Wow, tomatoey, tangy. Hot, hot, hot but very good. Okay, let's try some of this going salad. I don't know, what's in it? Does it have fish in it? I don't know. Looks like <clears throat> tomato and onion and maybe um, cabbage? I don't know. Mm. Yes, everything I said with peppers and um, like a light vinaigrette. Mm, very good. So we have ordered more chicken because we are still hungry. We have rice left. And man, that vindaloo is fire. <laughs> now I know we were told it was hot, but it's like Hyderabad hot. I mean, my lips are all red <laughs> and it's like, non-stop tingle, you know, burning. So, you know, we'll see how that works in a day or so. <laughs> you know what I mean? So, um, but very good. Wow, wow, wow. Sweet and hot at the same time. It was amazing. But the hot, the sweet is gone. <laughs> but the hot remains. But I would have it again. It's really good. So, All right, the last item, chicken chakuti has yeah. arrived. Coconut gravy. And coconut gravy, and it is a mainstay of going food as well. It's my second favorite. Okay. And can we get some more water and maybe ice? Ice. Also. Yeah. Huh. Okay. Okay. Well, we pretty much wiped everything out. We've eaten all of the gravy and the rice and just everything. I mean, we don't, we don't waste, we don't waste food. So I don't know, the chicken chikuti here was fan freaking tastic. If you want something a little less hot and really flavorful over rice, man, I would order like two of these for myself and maybe just plain steamed rice. The palau was good, it had little vegetables and things in it, but just don't take away from the flavor of this because that's really fantastic. Just order a couple of these if you're still hungry there's a lot of other food on the menu but you know that that is my pick my suggestion that chicken chikuti wow now we found this restaurant through the easy diner program if you like to go out to eat and have different types of food it definitely will pay for itself so that is definitely a recommendation too if you're in India to get the Easy Diner app and subscribe and start getting your discounts. So, word of the wise. So, man, you have to try this if you're in Candlem. This restaurant is wonderful. The outside, I recommend to go do that. The ambiance is just fantastic, especially in the evening. And you really will not be disappointed. The service is fantastic and the food is really good. Mm. 
number five on my list is the Park Hotel. Wow, wow, wow. Situated right on the ocean. This place is fantastic. We actually sat right above the pool and they have this full menu and a really groovy space to like have dinner and have cocktails overlooking the beach and the sunset if you're there early enough. And the menu is just fantastic. Of course, they have a lot of seafood, a lot of continental. Um, they have a lot of specialty going dishes and it is amazing. I love in this area, they actually have um, music playing. They had a live band at one point. And it is just really great to come here and to hang out with your friends, to have nice talking and cocktails and food. It really is a must-see place. And as I said earlier, it overlooks the pool. And look at this pool. How stunning is this in the evening? I mean, and this is a hotel, so there are guests who are staying there, but it is also a restaurant that anyone from the outside can come in. And you can rent these little cabanas, and they are poolside during the day. You can actually even eat down there if you want. But we chose to eat up here, and I just loved it here. It was amazing. Okay, so we ordered the seafood ravioli, and oh my goodness, this is amazing. This is five star anywhere in the world. It is wow, wonderful. Good. Wow. wow. And they gave us a little salad to start um, before we had our main entree which was this tiffin of different kinds of fish entrees. Boy, the food here is just spectacular. And a little gulab jamun for dessert. You know, I have to have dessert. And we'll talk about that drink in a second. This actually came as like a packaged meal. Like you get a little dessert and I chose the gulab jamun, but also there's this other dessert that we'll talk about in a second and this little tiffin. So we had a little appetizer, which was the ravioli, and then this tiffin with a little salad and little desserts. Man, just perfect for a light dinner, but you certainly could order more if you wanted, but this was just perfect for two people. So our little tiffin was actually quite special. And one of the first things that we saw in there was it had some kingfish. So it was nice to actually have the fish that Goa is known for, a nice little chunk of kingfish that we were both able to share. And then in the next tray, we had some seafood vindaloo, which was really spicy, but very good as well. And then there was also um, a seafood curry that had a little bit chunks of chicken we had asked them to add and then rice and gulab jamun and then that special drink. So it was really nice to be able to just have a little bit of food and the appetizer and the little salad. It was really just perfect for the two of us. Okay, dessert time. So this is a local fruit drink dessert. So, kokum. It tastes like it would be like a a good dressing on a salad. <laughs> like peppery and oniony, like as if you took celery and black pepper and onion, kind of juiced it <laughs> with a hint of turkey seasoning. I don't know if it's in turkey seasoning, but salt. It's not my thing. I mean, I'm glad it's a little tiny shot glass. <laughs> Galab jamun. And it's really, it's really difficult to screw this up. It's like a little pancake donut in sugar syrup. And it really is my ultimate favorite dessert in India. A little hint of 
cardamom and rose in there. Um, I'll take them hot or cold. Love it. Now they do have daily specials that change, obviously. Um, so you might want to call ahead and see what the specials are for that day. And um, I did see that they have like a buffet special that you can purchase and get all you can eat um, foods, selected foods and drinks for something like 1500 And we actually enjoyed coming back on Sunday, which is when they also have this special drink and buffet um, brunch where you can overlook the ocean and have all the food and drink that you want for like 1500 per person. It was really amazing. Go do it. Number six on my list, Paradise Shack in Kalangoot. Oh my goodness. The sitting on the beach and getting the chicken vindaloo and some naan was just amazing. This is one of the best shack foods I think that there is. Chicken shakuti and chicken vindaloo. Those are the things to get there. Making my number seven best is awesome momos on Tito's Lane in Baga Beach. These momos are fantastic. They're cheap, they're freshly made, taste so good. It's a can't miss. All right, our momos are done. Okay, let's try with the Szechuan sauce. Mmm. Chicken. Mmm. It's got onion and some cilantro. Um, it is nicely cooked. Wow, that tastes excellent. Okay, kind of hidden off the street, but this is my restaurant. Now, there are a couple deli darbers in town, but this is the original. It's kind of hidden, but it is the best. Make sure you go to the original one. And here I have ordered chicken tikka and some naan, and boy, was this fantastic. Oh my goodness. All right, that looks really good. It's tasted. I know it's gonna taste phenomenal. The, this butter naan. Mm, 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 mm. Oh my goodness. Mm. Wow, wow, wow. It's like boneless chicken. Chicken is smoked. It's excellent. Totally recommending this. Number nine on my list is Naturals Ice Cream in Kalangoot. Oh my goodness. This has got to be one of the best ice cream places I have ever been to around the world. Ice cream is just naturally made. It has all these really good fresh fruit flavors. Um, fruit, dried fruits. Uh, uh, figs. So, only flavors you can get here in India, and I love it. I have a confession. I went here every single night to have my ice cream. I love it. Topping number 10 on my list is Joseph Bar in Old Portuguese Goa. This place has been in existence since the 1970s, and I'll tell you, it reminds me of being in New Orleans. It's lax, it's cool, it's intimate. It's just really a nice place to have a drink, socialize, get to know some people. It's fantastic. Go there if you can. I hope you enjoyed this edition of Timmy Talks and going to my favorite places to eat and drink in Goa, India. Let me know if you've tried any of these places and if you have, how you like them. Please like and subscribe and we'll see you soon. Take care now.